Hello friends and family and welcome to Diary of a Manic. My name is Daniel Burl and I'll be your host today. Just joking. Um, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> uh, today's topic is insanity. We're going to talk about ins what insanity is and how the world sees it because society sees insanity differently than we're supposed to as is the case with most mental health things. While insanity is not technically a mental illness, it's actually part of a spectrum of behaviors characterized by certain abnormal mental or behavioral patterns. So, we're going to talk about it. <clears throat> the word sane comes from the Latin term sanus. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't speak Latin, sorry. Which means... Uh, healthy. Sane in the English language, however, means mentally healthy. The term insanity is a very loose term, and it, as it can be used to describe someone being a danger to themselves or others, or it can be used to describe someone who is of poor mental health. To be perfectly honest, I've been called insane which is incorrect, and it's not something you want to hear. <laughs> um, I have major depressive disorder with some manic episodes. I am not insane. <sighs> Insanity is probably the most stigmatized word in all of mental health. People often think of insane asylums as horror movies describe them. Dark, run-down hospitals with a bunch of murderers and rapists in them. The proper term for an insane asylum is a mental hospital, where people go for treatment <clears throat> for their mental health issues, such as depression, or bipolar disorder, or any of the things we've talked about. <clears throat> Excuse me. It may be true that some murderers and other criminally insane individuals go to mental hospitals, but you cannot group them all together. If you are going to group them together in that way, then I urge you watch the rest of my videos and read into mental health because you're being ignorant. Insanity plays a large role in the criminal justice system. Insanity may serve as a viable defense of many crimes. However, it is most often used in defense of murder. Feigned insanity is also a common problem in the criminal justice system as well. Insanity is often simulated in order to lessen the consequences and uh, excuse me, consequences of an alleged crime. So that's insanity. Um, I, I just want to say, insanity especially has such a bad reputation in society because when you think of insane, you either think of someone in uh, Law & Order SVU who's called insane because he's a child molester or something. Like, they're sick individuals, but they might not be insane. Or you'll think of... Um, <clears throat> I can't even think of a think of a scary movie that takes place in an abandoned mental asylum. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there's one I just watched. Uh, whatever. <laughs> it's not important. Um, yeah, you either think of it that way or you think of it in a scary movie where a bunch of teenagers go in the mental hospital and they all get murdered by some axe-wielding inmate who just happened to stick around when the hospital closed down or something. And that is, <laughs> that is not true. We throw around the word insane just way too loosely. It, 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 we just call anybody insane but that's that's not right that's that's like that's like calling people depressed that's like saying oh god you must have bipolar disorder <laughs> that's not funny <laughs> well sorry it's funny how i said that because that's stupid but it's just not right to 
A, stigmatize people for being insane, or B, call people insane who are not insane because they might have some other issue, such as me. Like, people have called me insane before, and it's like, what the hell? On what grounds are you going to call me insane? It's just such a stigma attached to mental health still, and yeah. Sorry, I'll end my rant there. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot. Um, leave suggestions for the next video. I have, uh, I have a bunch of stuff I'm working on still, but I'm always free to take suggestions. <clears throat> also, um, yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. And last but not least, have a great day, guys.